What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Red Thorn here, bringing you Fortress Siege number 70 here in the Need 2 Revolution. Let's go. Alright, so before I get into this video, I need to say some things. And if you want to skip all this, I will leave the timestamps, as always, in the description down below. But let me get into this. Big couple of weeks that have happened in the last uh, two weeks. <laughs> uh, one being um, Yangair is no more. Now, you may still see them around, but they are rapidly depleting their members. Sad Potato, leader of Yangair, has decided that individual has had enough of this game and is walking away and many of or at least more than a few of Yangair's members are following Sad Potato out of here. So Yangair is no more. The people are making decisions right now as to whether or not they're going to continue to play this game or if they want to walk away. However it goes, you're going to see, you know, anybody who wants to stay obviously is going to be uh, doled out to the rest of the party on. But yeah, Yang I can't believe it. Yangai, one of the strongest clans here in Lamel's server, is gone. But it happens. So good luck to those who are leaving the game. And good luck to those who are staying in the game. The second thing is we had a huge update a few days ago. The main focus of that update was the introduction of... ACCW, otherwise known as Aiden Castle Clan War. And that is an elimination style battle royale free for all to determine who is the strongest clan and of all the uh, of all the servers. Now it from my understanding it starts off with thirty six clans and that's on the oh okay, so there's three rounds over three days, and it's always on the last full week of every month, All right? So the Coliseum is always the first, like what Tuesday or whatever for of each month. The ACCW is the last full week of every month. So the first round, there's 36 clans, and they duke it out. Second round, second day, there are it drops to 12, and then on the final day in the third round, it's three clans. And this is just for this initial first time that this is going to happen, which is next week. Those three clans will fight each other for the Aiden Castle. And after that, whoever happens to win it, there will be four clans on the third day. The Defender and three Attackers. And it, it is going to be extremely difficult, if, if not impossible, for servers to try to set it up in a way that they can have more of their own people in their own server on the final day. Because of how the first two days elimination style events actually go down. And that's going to be... It's going to be interesting to watch next week. And it is spectatorable. I don't know if that's a word, but it is spectatorable. So I'll be spectating. Unfortunately, I, obviously I can't watch 36 clans. So I'm just going to have to pick... Pick a clan, pick a clan, it's 30 minutes apiece. I'll do what I can. But let's get into this video. Here at number 11, Bjorha, 408 million CP. They are fighting against, at number 18, Notorious, 353.8 million. Now, obviously, this is raw power, so I, if they have mercenaries, which most likely they do, uh, obviously, that's going to be higher. Let's see what was paid. This is for an A-grade Fortress, Bjorha. 120 million flat. Let's head into the battlefield. Two minutes left, and there we go. Finally starting to see Notorious come in, but they were waiting on that uh, hardened buff. I didn't look to see who the leaders were. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to call Yorha. They're kind of overpowered right now. But I haven't done a video since last week. By the way, thank you for that. It was my birthday last Saturday, and... I, obviously, they probably didn't plan it. And if they did, hey, I, that's great. But if they didn't, it's also great. It was my birthday. I didn't have to worry about doing any kind of videos. So, good birthday present on that. Minute and 22 seconds remaining. Notorious hasn't even shown up yet. I've got 16 people who voted for this fight over the uh, the other one that's obviously 
Okay, now they're finally starting to come in. Less than a minute remaining. Yoha looks like they're pretty much ready to go. They're still coming in. Everybody's still coming in. I'm looking forward to this uh, Aiden Castle Clan War. I almost said Aiden Clan Castle War. I guess you could go either way, but the actual name is Aiden Castle Clan War. Ten seconds before we begin. Good luck to Notorious. Five seconds before we begin. And good luck to Yorha. And here we go. Force of Siege, number 70. Notorious defending against Yorha. Yorha already getting... Oh! I just noticed that. They finally put... The Altar Imprint back. Yorha interrupted. And we managed to keep the Imprint time. So this, this is just fantastic right here. Yorha getting a both. Good job, Netmarble. Two thumbs up for that right there. The Yoha getting Notorious's Altar Imprint. But unable to get their own. What is Notorious doing? They are interrupting Yorha multiple times. Yorha over halfway. Oh wow, that is super small. Yorha, 30% buff for the next 2 minutes 20 seconds. I've been a little out of practice with that. Because it hasn't been there. Xylem, what are you doing? My cat just crawled into the corner. I don't know what she's doing. She's awesome. She's 6 years old. You would swear she's 1. I have a feeling this is going to be a short fight. No offense to Notorious. Notorious, by the way, part of the One Mini-Me Alliance. Yorha, part of Party On. Also, now that Yangair is gone, what are my haters going to call me now? You can't call me a Yangair YouTuber because there is no more Yangair. So what are you going to call me? A, a, a party on YouTuber? I mean, it's... There's only... There's party on Legion and Fire and Ice. And Fire and Ice, just, they just don't ever seem to... To fight. Right? They sit in their fortresses. And they bid block their castles. So it's difficult to be a Fire and Ice... YouTuber. If Fire and Ice never friggin' fights. This... Tower is gone. Of the non spawn gate of Notorious. Yorha with another 45 or 45 seconds remaining in their 30% buff. You certainly see Party On fight more than anybody. Uh, one usually bid blocks their way into their own. And there goes the non spawn gate of. Notorious. Mad usually fights too. Mad is Mythic, Aeon, and Down and Under. Down and Under definitely fights a lot. But uh, the members of, of the One Alliance, they don't. They normally bid block. They didn't didn't do it this time. Obviously, Yohard's making them pay for that. Uh oh! If this fight lasts less than five minutes, I'm not. I'm. I'm not recording. Well, I'm sorry. Not record. I am recording. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. They have one minute in three in three seconds to end this battle before I have to do this video. Yoha uh -huh. re-imprinted Notorious's Alter Imprint. About to lose their thirty percent buff. But they're already there. They're trying to bang this down. Chipping away at it. This fight's going to go over five minutes. No doubt. 
Short videos are good though. Oh, you're interrupted. This is definitely gonna go over five minutes now. And down goes that. Holy artifact defense tower. Of Notorious. 30% buff for the next 2 minutes and 13 seconds for Yorha. Yorha's leader, Cirque Cirque, but they don't have the crown above their head. The red team has what is up with that? Boy, that's difficult to tell. Cirque Cirque going again. Ten seconds for Yoha wins this battle. Five seconds. Three. Two. Oh, interrupted at three seconds. That's gotta suck. You had it. Sirk Sirk. Where is the crown? That is just like a that's been a staple of Fortress and Castle Siege, and it's totally gone. Uh, that, okay. Can't complain about that. Obviously, you can see where the the lightning is coming out of the the holy artifact, and you just follow it to. Oh, and there's Notorious leader Kit. Again, no crown. I wonder if that was done on purpose. Cirque Cirque trying to go and win this fight again. Got back. He's got back up. Five seconds remaining. Three, two. Oh, interrupted at two seconds this time. Damn. Uh, you, you're getting there, y'all. Huh? Next time it'll be one, and then maybe you'll win it on the on the time after that. Notorious. Pushing away Yorha, despite Yorha's 30% buff. That is fantastic. The altar of Earth and printing has been reset. Mercenaries. You see the mercenary tag there. Both teams have it. At least one. There's one here. There's a couple more up there. Cirque the Cirque trying again. Is he going to get it down to one? There's too, many, too much blue here. Too much blue here. Sirk Sirk took a couple of meteor showers. Five seconds before Yorha wins this battle. Two seconds again. Jeez Louise. Yorha. Yorha already has 64.8 seconds. Holy Artifact imprint time. Yoroha with a 30% buff for the next 2 minutes 14 seconds. And there goes one of the defense towers of the spawn gate of Notorious. I'm sure if Yoroha could get in here, they could play a little open siege and maybe actually win this fight properly. They are chipping away at this defensive tower with one person here trying to shoot him. There goes the spawn gate of Notorious. And your has been interrupted on imprinting before he even got to, what, the 15 seconds? He's trying again, though. I think they've got it this time. Five seconds. Two. One. And congratulations to Yorha for successfully taking the A-grade fortress away from Notorious. Here are your stats. 
I don't think that was much of a shocker, although I will definitely give props to Notorious for making it last as long as it did. Absolutely. Oh, I am also noticing that they haven't included numbers next to anyone's name. There's no rank. There are your stats. All right, we know who all we know all who won this. That that's a handover, by the way. They're both in uh, wherever Legion, party on. I don't know. This they they they're part of Mad, so I guess they're duking it out to see who's gonna get it, which is pretty funny because it doesn't really matter. And obviously we know Transcendence took that, and Potatoes won that. Congratulations to them. Next Tuesday is the first round of ACCW, so you will be seeing videos on Wednesday. And then, let's see, it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So you'll be seeing videos on Wednesday, Friday, potentially Saturday, and Sunday. This is all new territory for all of us. We'll figure it out together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.